What's up, homies? This is Jokesta back at you with a brand new video. Today, I'm going to go over Call of Duty Mobile's championship gunsmith. So all the pro players that were using all kinds of guns and they have their own gunsmith for each individual weapon. So I'm going to show you guys the top 11 gunsmith that I thought that were pretty good and should be mentioned in the video. But before we get into it, shout out to Call of Duty Mobile for sponsoring today's video. Click that link in the description and download Call of Duty. Try out some of these best gunsmith that the pro players were using. Listen, some of these things can actually change the way you play and might actually make you a better player because you're using their gunsmith. So I want to help you guys out. Let's get right into it. So starting off with our number one. Now, there is no particular order of ranking for these gunsmith. So you can just pick out whatever you like the best. So starting off with the number one on my gunsmith here is the Locust. This is the Locust build that they were using at the event. Um, surprisingly, you know, I, I was actually impressed that they were using snipers throughout the whole time like throughout respawns you know search and destroy there was at least one or two snipers in the game and this is what most of them were using this is the gunsmith that these pro players were using we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one next up is the r90 now if you guys don't know vig was using the shotgun build at the um, call of duty championship event this is what I've saw everybody pick up and use it was the r9 this is the build i honestly think it's good for some maps so if you're playing like a close range map this is your go-to now we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one on the list is the krm believe it or not i was surprised to see the krm making it on the list um and people using the krm especially garena teams they were using the krm like pros man they were going in taking everybody out and then i started to see a lot of other teams pick up the krm and start slapping everybody with it so yeah the krm is no joke it's still considered one of the best shotguns to use out there um definitely pick it up try it out see if you like it we're gonna go ahead and move on to the other one on the list is the ul736 now um now for us you know signal actually sent me a list of the build he said that one of the perks was wounding now the problem is we don't really have wounding here um so i use disabled instead so the next one is the chopper now this is the player's name i don't want to butcher his name but uh he was using this build and i was like this has to be mentioned for this video so um the one thing that has been changed is this laser so the one thing like usually i would use this laser but this dude was using the ranger laser and that's the only difference that i think there's also like fmj but people use disabled so this is a very interesting build for the chopper but we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next one on the list is the kilo um this is the kilo build that the pro players were using i actually got killed by a kilo 141 recently and he was using that perk called wounding and dude you cannot heal at all you get shot up it's over you can't heal up um this is really good for respawn but i don't know about search like search and destroy would be nice to shoot some players down they're tagged up they can't regenerate so maybe maybe it's even better for search honestly i might give it a shot for uh the wounding perk maybe it maybe it'll work out for me but yeah the kilo 141 is serious business moving on to top number six it's not even top six this is just random orders this is the growl 556 this is what people were using now there's another build for the uh growl this is a second build that people were you know spotted using um it is the tactical suppressor nexus barrel so you want to use this this is another one that people were using and no stock. So we're gonna remove this and put no stock. So if you have the legendary, this is probably the ideal attachments for you. Um, but if you're using a default, like I showed you earlier, the default build was a lot better for anybody out there that doesn't have the legendary. This is what you could be rocking. Um, I'm gonna put a red dot on here. The thing is why this build works for pro players and not for people that just want to use it for fun is the reason is is because these guys use this build 24 7 like they're using it all the time if i use it for an hour i'm like dude i'm i can't play with this thing right but the thing is the pro players are playing against other pro players constantly they get used to this build and this is the build that they would be using so 
I highly, I highly recommend you guys to try it out. Next up is the Switchblade. This is what the pro players were using at the event. Um, it's very interesting, right? Like I didn't think the Switchblade would be used. I thought the Fennec would be used more, the PDW, other weapons out there, but this is the weapon that we're using. Um, not bad. I like the Switchblade. Moving up to the Fennec, this is the gunsmith for the Fennec. I would say that probably 80% of the time I saw people using Fennex and I was like, dude, Fennec is the best gun in the game. I have to be, you know, this thing is close range. It shoots fast, gets the job done. This is it. This is what the pro players were using. Moving up to the next up on the list is the PDW. Um, PDW, I'm not surprised, but this is the build that they were using. Honestly, it's good for respawns, but for search, it's a bit of a struggle. It shoots a little bit too slow for me sometimes. So I'd rather use the Fennec. Also, the DRH has been spotted used by the pro players in the championship event. This is a pretty solid build. I actually want to play around with this one. Um, so yeah, the DRH, gun, uh, DRH gunsmith is right here. I might make a video in the future with a DRH, but again, this is just a little rundown of all the pro players built. Um, so I highly recommend you guys to try out three of them. So the DRH, the Growl 556 and the Kilo. So the Kilo is an um, interesting choice for you guys to try out. So again, all of these are really good. Highly recommend you guys to just try them out, give it a shot. But if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys did slap a like, comment down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another one. Peace out.